What's up guys, welcome back to another Western Sprint Tour Speed Week vlog. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Tanner Holmes and I race outlaw carts, limited sprints, and 360 sprint cars all over the West Coast and I have a lot of fun doing it. So tonight is night number four of our Speed Week here in the 360. We've had some good finishes, we've had a few rough nights. We have an eighth, a tenth, and a twelfth. So we're looking for our first top five with this series and we're hoping to get better each night. Now we were at Cottage Grove earlier this week and we're back at this same exact track and like I mentioned, we are very very fast here we're comfortable and we feel good in our car and we started off the night on the right foot by pulling a two which means we'll be the first car to go out and on Wednesday when we heard Tyler Thompson he went out first and he was quick time I think the tracks gonna be hooked up but then it's gonna go slick very very fast let's get into to the night we have pack in hot laps and then right into 360 sprint car qualifying First car out for qualifying. Carly, how'd I do? Well, we were the first car out for qualifying and it sounded like we were first when the second car went out and then we stayed first and then when the third car out, Justin Cox, he's really good here and he beat me. I would like to know my time. I'm gonna head out there and find out. Felt pretty good, first lap was all right. Second lap felt much better, but just gonna go talk to my crew, saw what they, uh, th ask what they thought, but overall my car felt really good and I felt like I got down a solid lap. Qualifying just finished for the 360 sprint cars here for night number four of the Western Sprint Tour. Fortunate enough, like I mentioned earlier, I pulled a good pill, which means I went out early when the track was good. We ended up third quick. Went Justin Cox, Kyle Hurst, and then us. So it felt good to be right there in a group with those guys and have very, very close times. So now we're gonna start sixth in our heat race. It's not like a transfer deal. It's all off a of point. So if we can get one or two cars, we should be locked into the redraw. But we do have a tough heat race because we do have a few more cars tonight. So I just gotta try to go forward I don't have a game plan. I just want to go out there, have fun, see what happens, and in the moment, try to make the best decision possible to move to the front.
We have an intermission right now to check out the racetrack here at Cottage Grove. And as I've mentioned in vlogs before, I absolutely love this place. It's one of my favorite sprint car tracks to come to. And I love that it's close to home. They're doing the redraw. Unfortunately, we didn't make it. We didn't really expect to make it because we didn't advance. But we're gonna start ninth in the A main event. Here's a look at the track. It's slick as usual. Little bit of grip on the bottom. Little bit of grip on the top here. And Brian Crockett has been doing a phenomenal job with this place. I know it's gonna have a lot of racing this week. Three nights, had uh, three nights last week, and it's still in top-notch condition. So we're just gonna watch this, watch the B main event, and then see what the track does throughout the night. They just called us to head out for our sprint car A main event. We start ninth, they just did some track prep. It was kind of starting to take rubber in the B, but now they went out, tilled it, threw some water on it. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but it'll probably go about 15 laps before it ends up taking a lot of rubber. We'll just have to see. We put on some brand new tires, hoping to make it through the A in case it takes rubber earlier than we thought, but um, we just gotta try to go forward as soon as possible. And then, you know, usually when rubber comes in, it's more follow the leader, but we'll just have to see. Anyway, let's head out for night number four of the Western Sprint Tour A.
expensive tire bill. Check out our right rear right there. Started ninth, got up to fifth, and that's where we finished. Got going early, and that was the big thing. You had to use the first 10 laps to your advantage why the rubber wasn't really there. And then quickly, Mitchell Vicino, he passed me for seventh, I think it was, and showed me exactly where the rubber was. I moved down about to the middle of the track and started slowly creeping down just a little bit more and more. Weighing all the way forward, I was getting so tight, but at the same time, my car was really good. Check out that right rear. I um, was a little tight on entry, and I think that's kind of where I was scrubbing the tires a little because I was trying to throw, not throw it in, but I was just turning a little too much. And then on exit, I didn't have as much drive, but once it's rubber down, it's a lot more fall the leader. But our car was awesome, man. It feels good to get our first top five with the Western Sprint Tour. You look who, ahead, who was ahead of us. You got Hurst, Ryan Robinson, Justin Cox, and Mitchell Vicino, all guys that just rip in California. So solid night for us, really, really pumped and good for points. Anyway, load up and we're ready for night number five. Just like normal, our trailer is a complete mess after the races. We just have one night left of the 2019 Western Sprint Tour Speed Week. Now on a track like tonight, how I got rubbered up at the end, of course that's not good for the tire bill. You guys saw how our tires looked after the feature. But one of the coolest things when something like that, I do want to give a huge shout out to Jeff Cooper. He recently has been helping us out here at Cottage Grove and the dude is an absolute hardworking guy. He helped us dismount like four tires after the feature then he mounted up like four more tires and got it all done in a very timely manner and since he was able to dismount those I was able to give away tires that were no good to run anymore to some fans but that was super cool got to sign them and I know that's a super cool souvenir that I have got to keep in the past and I still have them hanging up on my wall from previous sprint car drivers but tonight we got our first ever top five with the Western Sprint Tour Speed Week so that felt really good and we just had some awesome drivers ahead of us I mean you have Kyle Hurst a great driver from California has won an outlaw race I think this year he's ran a little bit more part-time because he's been focusing on his business, but he's still able to hop in the car and just wax everyone. He's so good. And then uh, second is where Ryan Robinson finished. He came from cage carts, ran Keith Coons midgets, and now is running wing sprint cars. Then Mitchell Vicino, the points leader of the Western Sprint Tour. Then Justin Cox, and then we came home rounding out the top five. Overall, a solid night. We're really starting to get it dialed in and at my favorite racetrack here in Oregon. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Once again, we got to thank all of my marketing partners partners, Pat Bay Machinery, Pat Bay Kenworth, ABC Powder Coating, Swindell Speed Lab, On-Site Screeners, Ferguson Waterworks, Knife River, Durango RV, Lafarge North America, North Medford, Les Schwab and Tires, Ome KTM, Fast Wear Media, QRC, and all my crew guys, Carly, Bennett, Jeff, Roger, my dad, and my family for just supporting me during a very fun week of this year. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thank you for watching and supporting us. One night left. Deuces.